I want to connect ClickFunnels and MailChimp so that when there's activity on a contact, they're added as a subscriber in one of my MailChimp lists. But there's no direct integration and I don't want to copy and paste. With Zapier, I can connect MailChimp to ClickFunnels so that new contact activity creates new subscribers. And if you don't know Zapier, it's an automation tool that makes connecting all your apps happen in a matter of clicks. And Zapier is going to help me create subscribers in MailChimp from new activity in ClickFunnels with a Zap, an automated workflow. All I'll need to do is connect my MailChimp and ClickFunnels accounts. First, I'll connect my ClickFunnels account. We have links to our privacy and data policies in the description, but basically, we keep your account information secure with bank-level encryption. We don't take chances with your information. This down caret button means I can select the specific ClickFunnels funnel and step Zapier should be monitoring for new activity. In this case, it's not required, which means Zapier will monitor all funnels and steps. Let's grab a sample contact now. Now we just need to connect to MailChimp. This gives Zapier permission to add a subscriber in MailChimp. We have another down caret button to select a specific audience to add this subscriber to. When you see this button, that means you can grab information from the first step to populate this field. I'll do that for the email address. When I click Test, we're actually going to add the subscriber in MailChimp, so keep that in mind when you test your Zaps too. Zapier is actually making the action happen. Looks like a success, so let's check out MailChimp. And there's my new subscriber. Just like that, we connected ClickFunnels to MailChimp. Now, every time a contact is added or updates in ClickFunnels, Zapier will add them as a subscriber in MailChimp. To set this Zap up, I used a Zap template. They make it faster to create a workflow and come with the apps and actions all ready to go. If you clicked on Make a Zap, or your editor looks a little different, don't worry. The principles are all the same. For more information on Zapier and this Zap template, check out the description. We hope this helps you be more productive.